I don't believe that he's gone yet. I still feel that there is a chance. There has to be a chance. A story you'll only see on News 5. Tonight at 10, we sit down with the mother of a missing Marine whose helicopter crashed off the coast of Hawaii. Find out why she isn't giving up hope that her son will return home. Dry skies, calm conditions not going to last for long. We're looking ahead to snow chances and some gusty winds in your first alert five forecast. CSU Pueblo is looking to create a first of its kind cannabis research institute. Why they say there's no better place for it. Coming up. You're watching News 5 at 10. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 5 at 10. I'm Lisa Leiden. Good evening, I'm Rob Cork. New at 10, the U.S. Coast Guard tonight suspended the search for 12 Marines on board two military helicopters that reportedly collided off the coast of Hawaii late last week. It is now a salvage and recovery operation. The helicopters were on routine overnight training when witnesses say they saw the helicopters, then a fireball. The round-the-clock search had been going on for nearly five days. Now, all four life rafts aboard the helicopters were later found empty. And tonight, the Coast Guard says some of the wreckage has been found on the sea floor. The cause of that crash still under investigation tonight. There is a Southern Colorado connection to all this. The missing Marines, the mother of Marine Sergeant Jeffrey Sempler, lives in Fountain, only on News 5. That mother sits down exclusively with our Zach Faxon and Zach. Her wait for answers, no doubt agonizing. Oh yeah, Rob. Lori Allen says the second she found out about the crash, she instinctively knew that her son, Sergeant Jeffrey Sempler, was involved. We talked to her this afternoon before crews had suspended their search. She said despite the long odds for a happy ending, she refused to give up hope. I've had my moments where I have to go cry. Considering the circumstances,